if, if you're sort of caught up, you know, doom scrolling every day and you're like, you're, you're in to like the, the, the daily sort of political uh, shit show, then it can be super draining and very quickly. Um, and, and what I've learned over the last few years is just to step away from all that and try and always view things from like a broader perspective. And you, cause you can't get that perspective when you're like reading article after article and seeing tweet after tweet and all this anger and all this fury and all this shit that's happening. You can't get a perspective because you, all you have is input, 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 and you've got no like time to like let it settle or let your mind actually like make the connections and be like, okay, so that maybe means that. And so, yeah, I, I find that when I step back and try to understand like large phenomena and, and have like a, a systems perspective, like a real broad overarching perspective of things, it's not actually as debilitating for your mental health um, because you're not caught up in the, in the daily uh, just, yeah, just intensity. Um, and I enjoy that as well. I think anyone does, you know, you, when you start to grasp a bit of understanding about a new subject or something, or, or you, you know, something starts to make sense that didn't before, it's actually exciting. And even if the subject is thoroughly depressing and dismaying, it can, it, as soon as you get like an understanding and a sort of foundational understanding of, of like what the concept is and, and how it works, then it's, yeah, it's just actually it's more positive because you just feel like you, you feel a bit more stable and you feel like, okay, you sort of know where you are and then you can actually start thinking about solutions, I suppose. So it's it, in that way, it's actually a little bit better. Mm -hmm.